Did you see the uh, the fighter who took smiling pictures, smiling selfies at Auschwitz with his girlfriend? This is a thing that comes up every so often, and people get really pissed about it. Over the course of the years, there's been people, if you take a picture at Auschwitz, which is open to the public, it's kind of a museum now of, of uh, concentration camp, uh, you best look as somber as you can in those pictures. <laughs> no smiles, no, none of this. Well, I went- <laughs> I, I passed up, I passed up, uh, uh, you have great producers, by the way, very oh, fast. Yeah, on yeah, they are right I, I on passed it. up uh, my Pluto TV watching because I went down the rabbit hole. So in the middle of all of this, somebody said, it's not a tourist destination. He goes, are you kidding me? And he put up the trip advisor. And I noticed that Auschwitz had like 1200 reviews. Oh, and so I started, I started reading the reviews. Yelp. They, you can check in at Auschwitz on Yelp. And oh. so you can go down. There's all these horrible places that you can visit and rate. And I think my favorite, I ended up, it was like three hours I invested in this. And one of them was the killing fields in, uh, in, you know, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Cambodia. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of three-star reviews, people really bored when they're walking over hundreds of thousands of dead bodies, looking at all the skulls and <laughs> <laughs> literally there's reviews that are like, it's just an open field. And then you walk into a building and there's skulls, three stars. Yeah, <laughs> not like, really getting horrible. the big picture there about what you're experiencing. And uh, <laughs> oh, my God, hours of reading pleasure on these. Like, uh, where are you at in your life that you're like, you know, I went to Auschwitz, but uh, the tour guide really wasn't charismatic. Four stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow the flag, people. Everybody up on me. We're now going to the death chamber. And so he's like, oh, I don't. This is not as good as I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah. A uh, bad review. The, 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 the guide wasn't very informative. It wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Uh, and it is a tourist destination. That picture alone showing the people behind that couple, uh, a lot of people show up there. Oh, yeah. I, 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 would, I would assume, I'm just going to pull numbers out of my ass here, that for 90% of the people, it's morbid fascination. And for 10%, it's actual history and wanting to, you know, look and, and be educated. Like most of it's just like, yeah, let me get a, I got to get the RB mock fry up there. I need that fucking need that. There was one review. I mean, I really, I really dug into reading these reviews and there was one review from a girl, I think it was three stars on Auschwitz. And she was like, I wanted to be able to take more pictures in the gas chamber. I'm like, what is, where are you in your life? Holy shit. Are, that's, that's the only thing. Like the whole time I'm like, fuck you. What is, what is wrong with you? It's uh, you know, time plus uh, it, it just, I've talked about the the Titanic slide at parties. You know, they blow up a giant Titanic, and it's it's going into your lawn, and there's water, and the kids slide down the deck, and they bounce off the the smokestacks and whatnot. And you go, you know, that was really something that happened. <laughs> it wasn't yeah. fun in games when people were plunging into the icy North Atlantic, and then they just at some point in history they went, that'd make a fun kids party thing and, and that's the moment where you know enough time has gone by and uh, yeah there that's, oh my god that's the titanic ride and i don't know you might think like eh, a lot of people died a lot of people died <laughs> horribly i mean but, how far are we away from people complaining about like ground zero in new york saying it's not entertaining enough or not patriotic? yeah not that's fun enough they probably are already i'll be honest with you that's my people that's my my far right people that are like you know i i smelled hot dogs in the air and there weren't enough uh you know american flags four stars yeah Five. four stars not really into it the food not too good the ground zero um yeah i had the uh the ground zero round steak <laughs> We're not far from that. I mean, that's the thing. That, that's what really sucks about people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The other thing is, too, if you can check in at Auschwitz on like Yelp or, or these places on Yelp, you can be the mayor of Auschwitz on Yelp. You get a little badge. Bling. Oh, God. <laughs> like, who are you at that point? Like, I, I just I can't imagine any of this. Like, these are horrible people. This is. You know, I'm I'm not for canceling people, but I kind of feel like whatever secretary from whatever office administrative assistant that went and was like, hmm, three stars at Auschwitz. Maybe we should look. Yeah, I've thought about like if at some point I do think I'll take a, a European trip. 
Uh, I've never been over there, and and anyone that has, and I've spoken to, has had a good time and uh, gone to Germany, France, um, underpants. I think that's what you say next, underpants. And uh, I I I've thought about Auschwitz and going there, and, and like I don't know, I don't know if I would or wouldn't, could couldn't think it'd be a good idea or a bad idea. I know. Um, I know a couple of people that did go and said it was just, you know, while you're driving there, you're thinking, oh, this will be cool, you know, and then you get there and it's just this amazingly depressing, bad vibe. Like there's a bad vibe around the place, which there's a, I guess there's you a bad can understand. Vibe at Auschwitz. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's strange, guess. right? Right? Yeah. Bad vibe. Not quite the bad vibe you get walking into the haunted mansion at Disney, but, uh, you know. Sort of bad vibe. And and I can understand that. Like, see, I don't know if I want to. That's why I've never watched decapitation, uh, beheading videos and things, because you just can't, you can't unwatch it. So I wouldn't want to go there not being sure if I was going to get this weird uh, feeling that I couldn't shake, you know? Yeah, no. Uh, and then, you know, if you if you feel bad afterwards, you'd rate it a two out of five stars. on. Yelp. Then you get right online and go, ah, bad vibes there. Bad vibes. I was it was a real downer. Vibes. Man, I, downer. it was a real downer at Auschwitz. Two it was stars. A, a real downer. You know, expected it to be a little more fun. There were no rides, no, no. theme restaurants. <laughs> there was no Starbucks. I was told there was a Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. The Star of David Bucks. And it's just a, a yellow Star of David on the cup with your name on it. And you get it peels off the cup, and then you could wear it. While you walk around. Oh, my coffee's way too hot. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Ow, it's burning. Oh, no. Ow. Just these, if you ever want to feel, again, if you want to feel better about yourself on a Saturday <laughs> night, you have nothing to do. You start with supermarket sweep, and then yeah. you look at reviews of horrible places in world history. Yeah, yeah. Are and there, you're like, I'm a good person. Are there other, like, places? Yeah. I mean, Auschwitz has to be the number one downer tourist attraction. Uh, killing fields that there is the killing fields of course i i think viet vietnam itself not cambodia but vietnam has become pretty uh america friendly of late uh and 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 they they've kind of adapted or adopted some of these capitalistic money making ventures tourism's one of them and they do have a vietnam war tour they have tours of the tunnels where tunnel rats used to go in and shoot the vc and uh, POW camps and, and things that you could kind of explore that seem really, again, a downer, a it's, downer. I, I don't, why would anyone want to do that? I, I, I don't, don't understand. know. Again, 90% morbid fascination, 10% Vietnam, st like a, 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 an expert in, in Vietnam and, and wants to go and actually look at some of these places that they know what it was and where it was used and what, but, yeah, I don't know. Ah. Two stars. It wasn't air conditioned. Very humid. Yeah, yeah. There, there was somebody that was going to uh, rebuild the Titanic, like make a replica, but but more fancy and and with more modern accommodations and hopefully lifeboats. But um, that's a morbid fascination thing. It was shortly after the movie came out in the '90s, and and all this Titanic kind of shit was going on, and. Uh, yeah, you wanted to build another Titanic. And I think that's kind of, there are so many cruise ships and things that you could go on. Why would you want to go on something that's Titanic? Again, morbid fascination and this strange human um, attraction to tragedy. And um, I don't know. They have a, a Titanic thing. Museum in Branson. Branson, Missouri, right? They got a Titanic. And it's, there's like a fountain that comes out of the front of it. The right, building looks it, like the Titanic. Make and it look like it's it's speeding through the water. Uh, well, yeah. Sinking. I think someone got hurt in it recently or killed maybe even. Someone fell. I, I read about it. It seemed pretty fucking crazy. Like, yeah. oh, you died in the Titanic. It's like, but the, the Branson one, the cheesy Branson Titanic. You got that? Can we uh, pop that up? Because I... I need Just to were they see. able to go to like the Yakov Smirnoff theater beforehand? Yeah, Wait, yeah. Oh, here Titanic we go. Is Look, there's a the woman ocean. dressed so up in the. If you're holding on to that one, you're literally holding on for your dear life. It's so a call for help. Yes. Well, here, and keep this in mind, too. Uh, could, you hold, uh, could you hurry up? I'm due for the Brady Brunch. And if you've ever tried to hold on to Greg Brady metal, sings the, the Johnny Bravo tunes. Yeah. 
They didn't have rubber sole shoes like. Have you ever been to uh, to Branson? You ever spend time there? No, we were going to go as a field trip on the O and A show, and it just uh, it kind of went. <laughs> Look at the black guy. Can can I get some black history of the Titanic? Yeah, there were none. It's pretty much it. You're the first. You're the cl- person that uh, of color that has gotten the closest to the Titanic yet. Is this a promotional video where they took a diverse group around? It must be right. The sort of a Hispanic guy, a white chick. How a cold hair, a was chick. it? <laughs> How <laughs> cold was it? Now dip your hand in. Is that icy water? Oh my God, it's ice cold water. <laughs> oh Jesus. This is awful. I'd spray it in her face. Like, How cold is it, fucking bitch? You capitalizing on dead people. Can I hear some volume? I love this. I can't get enough of it. would have been in this water up to here at least. And the temperature outside was 30 Yeah, the boat sunk, dummy. No, up to there? How? What happened? We made interactive. I mean, we just put our fingers in there for like, what, 20 seconds? 10 seconds? Yes. Believe me, dude, you drowned before you froze. You know the swimming prowess. Timer to see how long they might have lasted. Whereas everybody thinks, oh, I'll make the three minute mark, no problem. About There's a timer to see how long. A timer, so you hit the timer, you put your arm in there and try to keep your arm in for three minutes. Jesus Christ. Ron Jeremy. As you can hear, there's a little bit of somber music playing, so it doesn't sound like mo- most of us survived. Yeah. So I'm going to look for Sir Thomas Keeland. He was a crew member, a library steward. Okay. Is this like an Easter egg hunt see. for dead people? So yes. how do we know who was surviving in person? Well, they, if they're underlined, the somber they survived, last music that they played. Last name. Uh, uh, Mr. Kelland, there he is. So oh, nearer my heart to I've thee. With the is that what it was called? Yeah, if you take a look Think. at the amount of crew, they took the hardest hit out of everybody on Titanic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, crew guys, took the hardest the hit. Unlike someone that thought they were going on a fucking class. vacation and froze to death. Look at this guy. Tyrone <laughs> Jones? <laughs> what? Guys, uh, Edward Austin Kent did not survive as well. Uh, and I have Alice Johnson, third class passenger, age 26. I love this. What a terrible time in Branson looking for dead (laughs) people on a fucking wall. Yes. It says um, (laughs) a man, a gentleman gave up his seat for her and her daughter. That's what they did back then. So uh, the, because the <laughs> yeah, they cared. Cool. Yeah, they so gave a sh- shit. Life. There was something yeah, called there chivalry. Were a lot of heroes that night. Oh my God, my, I got a name, Leo DiCaprio. So many people. Let me look and see how he. Oh my God, he fell off a door and he could have lived. And they have a they have a lot of uh, of one star reviews. Oh, do they? The Titanic. You know, I pulled uh, them up. Branson, please do. <laughs> I am fascinated now with the Titanic attraction in Branson. <laughs> Uh, you guys, you have really good producers. I don't, I don't want to tell them what to do, but if you guys go to oh. Yelp and then rate them by lowest first, the, oh, the reviews, I need amazing. to see why, why people were upset <laughs> that, that they didn't go to the Yakov show or the Brady brunch. And, hey, good. And no, went to Titanic. I went. I went to Branson for one day and there's this family show called the Hey Goods. And it's these five kids that have been performing since they were seven. Like vaudeville. <laughs> <laughs> Where they get the whole are, family. Is it they called the like, aristocrats? <laughs> That'd be interesting. They, they look like they're part of a horror film. Like they're they're like trapped in a basement and they get released. You know, they have to oh, mate with each other. And God, they get released once this. a day to sing covers. I'm fascinated by this. You have to go. You got any I, of those Yelp reviews? Let's look at that. I got it. Yeah. One of these days. Uh, fuck, I paid $60 for nothing. The inside is so ridiculous. There's nothing impressive. Just the writing that prevents you from taking pictures. I don't advise anyone go to this shitty place. (laughs) Was that for the attraction of the actual Titanic? Maybe it was a review from somebody who was on the ship. (laughs) Oh my God. My family did the walkthrough and we were very disappointed. It's a tourist trap. Can't take pictures due to copyright laws, but they will sell you some junk pics they Photoshop you into for close to $50. I was extremely (laughs) disappointed. And uh, at this and the loss of words for uh, uh, taking the time to read the reviews, I might have just passed and saved money and do something more educational or fun. I recommend just taking your own picks outside and skip the tour. Of course they're not going to let you take... What do you think they're doing in there? Making money. They're not going to let you take pictures with your phone. 
when they could Photoshop you in. Is there like a thing they could Photoshop you in, like falling off? And they're like, oh, I'm falling down the deck. Uh, don't waste your time. It's 27 bucks per person. They hardly have any artifacts from the Titanic. It's just a tourist trap to separate you from your money. <laughs> This place is a total bummer. Don't be fooled by the grand building and the well-dressed staff chanting uh, out information about the Titanic. Heading out boarding, handing out boarding passes make it seem so much an interactive tour. For 50 bucks for a couple, I expected some artifacts. It's only a bunch of photographs and papers stuck on the wall. That's what uh, you're, you, you want to see from the Titanic. I think Google will do the job. I was extremely disappointed. Wow. <laughs> they they false. Since you've been at Branson, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Uh, let me see one of the good reviews. I want to see what people liked about this. Find a top review. It's going to be loaded. It's going to be from that. It'll, the woman will look exactly like that uh, woman giving the tour. In the yeah, last. yeah. I got to assume it's, you know, someone from Branson. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. This museum is entertaining and sad at the same time. Sad meaning when I read about all the victim, survivors, and the pics. All right, it didn't sound very intelligible. Uh, place was very cool. A lot to look at and see. Staff was nice and friendly. Place was not very busy at all. They even have complimentary wheelchairs if you need one. So the top review is the complimentary wheelchairs. <laughs> Oh God! That's what that's what Auschwitz is. That's what Auschwitz needs to get it up that extra star from some of the people who rated it just four stars. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if they had built uh, built wheelchair ramps onto the gas chambers so that they could actually let the handicapped roll on in uh, to see the Zyklon B containers and whatnot. I got some Photoshop pictures. Oh, oh, some of the. Oh my God! So this is what you can buy. <laughs> this is hilarious. Is that just like a shitty digital rendering of? So it's not. <laughs> Look at this one. Is that the iceberg it hit? <laughs> Holy shit! Look at this shitty digital rendering of the Titanic. I swear I could probably Photoshop something on my phone with one of my stupid apps that looks 800 times better than that. And more, please, dude, I am in love with this segment. Oh, the grand staircase. <laughs> oh, God. Now, is that like from the Titanic or from the movie? That looks like a shot from the movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How much do you think these people pay for these pictures? 50 bucks. bucks? Yeah. It said $50 for a picture or something. Titanic. Is that it? Oh, fuck. I There's need a conversation. A thousand more of these to look through. I need a thousand more pictures to look through. The, the, tourist, the tour guide started with, hey, would you like to savor your memories today at the Titanic Museum by standing in front of the screen? screen? Yeah, These yeah. people were like, yes. Stand in front of the green screen. We'll take some pictures, and then you could pick out the background you want. And this couple actually went like, "You want to do the thing on the front, like, like Rose and fuck? We could." Holy shit! What a ripoff! This place is the worst. <laughs> can we have a? Can we get a zany picture of you guys? Like the ship's going down. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> boop, boop, you know, so, <laughs> brr. All right, make it like you're cold, <laughs> brr. <laughs> Oh, is that great? What shysters, what fucking lumps of shit in Branson decided to make this an attraction? Oh, my oh, God. Can't. But, I mean, think about this, though. Like, <laughs> this is fucking horrible, obviously. But how far away are we from having this from, like, other tragedies that have happened? 11 9-11. Uh, well, the de I think the Democrats are already making a January 6th one where you can uh, go in and they'll Photoshop you with the, the horn hat guy and you'll be in the Capitol going, hey, you. Yeah. You sure it's not like a it's not like one of those interactive rides where you're like riding through and then Ray Epps is on the side. He's like, come on in. Yeah, yeah. Come on in. And they had your 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 drinks come in little fire hydrants. You could throw at the or fire extinguishers. You could throw at the cops as uh, you're breaking the door down. Yeah, yeah, shit like that. <laughs> God, that's they would love that. They oh, would, they, they would. would. They, they would love it. Bucks. I I I. 
I, I am a little disappointed that they didn't have like a car that you go on and kind of go through uh, the scene, like a Disney attraction or something. Walking Imagine though the guide. Yeah. When when they plan this out, right, and they, and they're like, you know what, we're gonna have people touch cold water and then smack a red button to see how long they'd live in that cold water. <laughs> That's a hell of an experience. It really is terrible. Uh, yeah, and someone had to like think that out. Like they yeah. had to workshop it and go, all right, it's Titanic. We're going to do this thing. What all right, we, ideas, people, ideas. What kind of things can we get the people to do? Well, people froze to death in the water. Good. All right, let's run with that. What can we do to make the people experiencing freezing to death in cold water? You know, for money. So we make money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Horrible people. Oh, Horrible people. And they're like, oh, I don't. I, you, do you think there was like one objector? On the board meeting for that? Just going like, oh, sh-. and they showed him some money figures and he was like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I mean, it. if I'm pulling uh, 15K a year out of this, I guess so. I got to retire at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, can we have something that simulates the feeling of your head hitting the propeller after you've fallen 300 feet? Can we have that? Yeah. I th- No, no. All right. Let's cross that off the list the propeller on the head uh what about, what about uh, uh scalding steam from when the cold seawater hit the hot furnaces and, and and steam would burn people can we do that it's good it one good. guy's like i don't know about this guys and they're like how about uh coupon to buffalo wild wings <laughs> like yes all I'm right that, all right let's let's Got jot me. that down that's a good one which, by the way, there's a mall along the water in Branson. I, I couldn't get enough of Branson. I spent 24 oh, hours there. Oh. And there's a zip line into the mall that goes right to the Buffalo Wild Wings that's in the mall. It's like right there. Now, the odd thing is people that eat at Buffalo Wild Wings probably aren't best suited to do zip lines. I would believe they're a little probably overweight, uh, not a physical and, you know, holding on kind of a thing. They had- Honestly, thinking about it now with that the Titanic thing, not to get too uh, too dark, but like a couple of years ago, didn't a boat flip there and like everybody in the boat tour died in Branson? They like went out during a storm and a boat flipped. Something happened. I, I know something happened on the like at the Titanic thing. Someone fell, but, but uh, like, yeah, there might have been a boat accident too. They have those like guys. ride the ducks things that yeah. everybody at has, and I think they went out during a storm and it flipped and everybody died. Oh yeah, I remember like, that. Point, Was it Branson? Yeah, it was Branson. Yeah, capsized. It was one of those duck tour boats like in Boston. They do it on the Charles and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Maybe. that one. Was this Branson? Oh, my God. How about they make an attraction out of this? You know how cold the water was? That's what I'm thinking. Like, I mean, how how far away? Like, at some point, don't you go, hey, maybe the Titanic Museum is a little tasteless. Yeah, yeah. This is their uh, Normandy exhibit where you're rolling onto the beaches of Normandy. <laughs> Good God. Wow. This yeah, that a- thing just sank. What a dummy. Going How about out? don't take out vehicles like uh, amphibious vehicles from, you know, the 1930s and 40s and, and right. I mean, how are they still floating without the storm? Yeah, yeah. That could be just glass surface of, of water and uh, it's, oh. it'll probably sink anyway. I'd have been out of that thing. Like, like while it was doing that, just jump out and tread water for a little while. Because once that thing starts to sink, you are dunsky. You're not getting out. I think that's what happened to a lot of them. That's what happened. Kind of couldn't get out. It sunk. They tried to, some people were trying to get out, but that fat lady from the Titanic picture is in the way of the exit and it's over. (laughs) After that, do you think like the board of the Titanic looked at each other for like a second and went, Yeah, we're still, you know what? We're going to say as a tribute to those people. The people that died on the Titanic and see now that people died also that it, it just happens we, as a tribute to them. We're going to continue with this exhibit. <laughs> we got a call from the Smirnoff people up the street. The Yakov yeah, Smirnoff. Yeah, they're, they're wondering what we're going to do about it. They're waiting for a statement. We loved uh, we ran through that whole Yakov thing on the ONA show years ago and uh, the dinner that you get. And it's Amazing. like a movie theater. You're sitting in what amounts to a big movie theater. And it's a dinner theater, but they wanted to fit as many people as possible in it. So they don't want tables. Movie theater is perfect. Everyone's sitting right next to each other. So what they did was they came up with this patented idea that Yakov talked about in the promotional video that I watched 20 times. It is magnetic tray. 
So when the dinner comes out, you slap it on. The armrest is magnetic. So the tray goes click, and it stays right there. Now you got your table right in front of you in your movie theater seat. It's not going to, you're not balancing it on your, your legs. And then you eat your chicken Kiev. I think it was, um, or Cordon Bleu. It was uh, the vegetable medley and a dessert. I think some kind of apple dessert. And that you eat guy, that up. It's great. And he, you watch I mean, the show. I, I remember that. I remember your segment from that years ago. And, oh. and I like, that guy made so much money. Oh God bless God. him. And it was all the show he did was this schmaltzy America thing where he's walking around with a giant American flag talking about, you know, I came from Russia. What a country. And it's that shit so would over the CPAC top. Still. <laughs> yeah. If he, he would headline CPAC, it's in Florida. Next oh, month. yeah, yeah. They would eat that up. Well, we, we finally got we converted a good one. Yeah. This guy was, you know, grew up in communist Russia. Came over here and realized he could turn a quick buck in Branson. Uh, and and that, that's that's what it was. Branson. What was his big TV hit? Night Court? Did he have a special? Well, he did have a TV show for a little while called, I think, What a Country. He oh. took his catchphrase. It's like it's like uh, Larry having Get Her Done, a TV show, Get Her Done. You know, you got your your catchphrase and that becomes your, your TV show. And it was always, you know, the dumb kind of Russian immigrant getting welcome. Everyone in America loved him. And, you know, what a country in Soviet <laughs> Union. What do you think he made? 20 million, 30 million? Oh, he's had his, I think he made most money he made in Branson. You know, oh, yeah. I th I think because uh, he did Vegas for a little while, and then I I guess you could just go to Branson and they'll pay you more money. The cost of living is probably nothing, Penny. and you just you know, and you get you'll get trash that'll show up for magnetic trays in a movie theater and think it's dinner. <laughs> when, when they pitched him where to put his theater, they're like, "We're gonna put a Titanic museum down the street." He's like, "At." Money. That's my. They will come to my show after horrible, depressing event like Titanic. What a country!